Thank you very much. I would like to thank the organizers for allowing me to present my work. Excellent. Thank you. So <clears throat> my name is Zev Zalewski. I'm from uh, Z-Square and also from the Faculty of Engineering at bar -Ilan University. And I'm going to speak with you about uh, a technology which is an emerging technology that could be very helpful and productive for various microendoscopy related applications. Okay, so wh what do we talk about? <clears throat> In microendoscopy, there are endoscopes which are cheap on the tip. So this is not the case of what I'm going to speak about with you. I'm going to speak about fiber-based endoscopes, but this is not a fiber bundle. We developed a special process in which we have a unified material, a single unified material, which is a fiber having very large number of properly designed optical cores that can allow transmission of very high resolution of image while uh, preserving this resolution despite the fact even when the, 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 the fiber is, uh, is bounded. Now, we talk about a fiber that has a rectangle across section, about 450 micrometers. And then, like in a Lego game, you can take many of such rectangles, put them side by side, and build a bigger endoscopes, while when you add more and more rectangles like that, you add more and more uh, technological features allowing the endoscope to be more improved in its technological, technical performances. Now, the endoscope has two parts. We have a handle that includes everything, the optics, the mechanics, the electronics, and we have the tip itself, which is a disposable tip. So there is no need for sterilization. At the end of the treatment, the, the, the tip is thrown away. Uh, because we have such a large number of cores, we can allow, in a very small cross-section, very high resolution. And if we add more and more square structures like this, we can enhance other features, like extending the depth of field, extending the depth of focus, adding three-dimensional capabilities. And because the endoscope is so thin, we can prevent defogging by, because we need only very small power of heating for the tip in order to prevent fogging on the tip. Now, <clears throat> what is interesting in addition to this technology of imaging is the fact that we have also a very unique illumination technology. It is also integrated inside of this device that you see here. The illumination is a laser-based illumination. Now, lasers have certain advantages. The main advantages that we are using are, first of all, that in a very small cross-section we can provide large energy, illumination energy, but also because it is a laser, we can extract the wavefront of light and therefore sense 3D information. The wavefront of light gives us three dimensionality like you have in holography. So you can do both stereoscopic three dimensionality as well as holographic based three dimensionality. So, the, uh, but also be, the laser can allow us uh, to obtain various diagnostic capabilities related to NBI and to multi spectral imaging, which helps in diagnostics. So uh, this is a typical cross-section of a typical fiber-based bundle endoscope, three to five millimeters. This is how our endoscope looks like, this square, much smaller, 450 microns, as I said. And when we put several side by side, we enhance the, per the technical performance that we can get. You can see here, if we take only one, it is suitable for those applications, ENT and so on. If we put two by two, three by three, up to five by five, we can match this technology to be suitable for larger sets of, of uh, endoscopy related applications, laparoscopy and others. While the, the unique properties are the fact that we, it is a single user disposable tip, so nostrilization, small incision, high visualization resolution, 3D defogging, and articulation. And because we use lasers, we can have also superior diagnostic capabilities because we have several lasers, we can apply different wavelengths and in a very short time produce image of reflectivity at those various wavelengths. Here you can see a table that summarizes the various performance. If we take one rectangle, or two by two, three by three, five by five, and those are the features that we have which are, which get better and better the more rectangles we combine together in this Lego-like structure. 
Those are the tips that we have for each one of those combinations. And again, those tips are disposable. The handle is the same handle, and the tips are a single use unit. <clears throat> now, it, th so the imaging concept is different. The illumination through laser-based uh, sources is different. But what is needed in order to have high quality of image is also image processing tool that we have developed. Just to give you an example, if you capture the image without applying proper post-processing, image-based post-processing, this is the type of images you get. They have a lot of artifacts because of the way the, the multi-core fiber is structured. But after applying the proper post-processing, you can improve significantly the images and get uh, this quality of images. You have here various uh, examples of experiments that we did. At the moment, it is an alpha pro prototype. We did only ex vivo experiments, but we are planning to get the, the required uh, regulation and uh, to, uh, to move with this technology to the next level. This is how the prototype looks like. This is the handle, and this is the uh, tip that is a disposable tip. This unit includes the processor as well as the laser-based illumination unit. Um, this is the, the way the image is presented to the medical doctor. We have special uh, interface that the medical doctor can, can use. Um, the, the laser has, the, the illumination unit has several lasers that can be combined together to produce a white light illumination, but can also be scanned in time and provide different reflectivity for different uh, lasers, for different wavelengths, which can give us diagnostics capability including NBI and multispectral diagnostics, and as well as 3D wave uh, front extraction capabilities. So this summarizes my technology. This is the disclosure. Um, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>